Land Rover is a British car manufacturer with its headquarters in Gaydon, Warwickshire, the United Kingdom which specializes in four-wheel drive vehicles. It has been owned by the Indian company Tapa Motors since 2008, forming part of their Jaguar Land Rover JLR Group. For it is the second oldest four-wheel drive car brand in the world after Jeep.5 The Land Rover name was originally used by the Rover company for one specific vehicle model, named simply the Land Rover launched by Rover in 1948. Over the following years it developed into a mark encompassing a range of four-wheel drive models, including the Defender, Discovery, Freelander, Range Rover, Range Rover Sport and Range Rover Evoque. Land Rovers are currently assembled in the company's Halewood and Solik Hall plants, with research and development taking place at JLR's Gaten and Whitley Engineering Centers. Land Rover sold 194,000 vehicles worldwide in 2009. 6. Although the brand originates from the original 1947 model, Land Rover as a company has only existed since 1978. Prior to this, it was a product line of the Rover Company, which was subsequently absorbed into the Rover Triumph division of the British Leyland Motor Corporation. DL following the Leyland Motor Corporation has takeover of Rover in 1967. The ongoing commercial success of the original Land Rover series models, and latterly the Range Rover in the 1970s in the midst of the ELF's well-documented business troubles prompted the establishment of a separate Land Rover company but still under the DL umbrella, remaining part of the subsequent Rover group in 1988, under the ownership of British Aerospace after the remains of British Leyland were broken up and privatized. In 1990 for Rover Group PLZ was acquired by BMW. In 2000, Rover Group was broken up by BMW and Land Rover was sold to Ford Motor Company, becoming part of its premier automotive group. In June 2008, Ford sold both Land Rover and Jaguar cars to Tapa Motors. 789 Contents History Land Rover Series I Land Rover Series I I88 The design for the original Land Rover vehicle was started in 1947 by Maurice Wilkes, chief designer at the Rover Company, on his farm. In New the Rough, Angle C.10 it is said that he was inspired by an American World War II Jeep that he used one summer at his holiday home in Wales. 1112 The first Land Rover prototype, later nicknamed Center Steer, was built on a Jeep chassis and axles. 13 The early choice of color was dictated by military surplus supplies of aircraft cockpit paint, so early vehicles only came in various shades of light green. All models until recently featured sturdy box section ladder frame chassis. The early vehicles, such as the Series I, were field tested at Long Bennington and designed to be field serviced. Advertisements for Rovers cite vehicles driven thousands of miles on banana oil. Now with more complex service requirements this is less of an option. The British Army maintains the use of the mechanically simple 2.5-liter four-cylinder 300 TDI engine versions rather than the electronically controlled 2.5-liter five-cylinder TD5 to retain some servicing simplicity. This engine also continued in use in some export markets using units built at a Ford plant in Brazil, where Land Rovers were built under license and the engine was also used in Ford pickup trucks built locally. Production of the TDI engine ended in the United Kingdom in 2006, meaning that Land Rover no longer offers it as an option. International Motors of Brazil offer an engine called the 2.8 TGD Power to Work, which is essentially a 2.8-liter version of the 300 TDI, with a corresponding increase in power and to work. During its ownership by Ford, Land Rover was once again associated with Jaguar, the first time the two companies had been under the same umbrella since the British Leyland era. In many countries they shared a common sales and distribution network including shared dealerships and some model shared components and production facilities. Sale to Tata In June 2007, Ford Motor Company announced its plan to sell Land Rover, along with Jaguar. Ford retained the services of Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley and HSBC to advise it on the details of the deal. The buyer was initially expected to be announced by September 2007. But the sale was delayed and an announcement was not made until March 2008. The UK-based private equity firm, Alchemy Partners, and the India-headquartered Tata Motors and Mahindra and Mahindra expressed interest in purchasing Jaguar and Land Rover from the Ford Motor Company. 1415 Before the sale was announced, Anthony Bamford, chairman of British excavators manufacturer JCB, had expressed interest in purchasing Jaguar cars in August. 
the year previously 16 only to back out when told the sale would also involve Land Rover, which he did not wish to buy. 17 Tata Motors received endorsements from the Transport and General Workers Union TGWU Amicus 18 Combine and Ford as a preferred beer. 19 in March 2008, Ford announced that it had agreed to sell its Jaguar and Land Rover operations to Tata Motors, and that the sale was expected to be completed by the end of the second quarter of 2008. 7 on June 2, 2008. The sale to Tata Motors was completed by both parties. 9 included in the deal were the rights to three other British brands, Jaguar's own Daimler, as well as to dormant brands Launchster and Rover. 20 BMW and Ford had previously retained ownership of the Rover brand to protect the integrity of the Land Rover brand, with which Rover might be confused in the US for export market. The Rover brand was originally used under license by Milligrams Rover until it collapsed in 2005 at which point it was reacquired by the then Ford Motor Company owned Land Rover Limited. Timeline 1947, Rover's chief designer Maurice Wilkes and his associates create a prototype using Jeep chassis and components 21 1948. The first Land Rover was officially launched April 30, 1948, at the Amsterdam Motor 1958. Series II launched 1961. Series IIA began production 1967. Rover becomes part of Leland Motors Limited. Later, British Leland BLS Rover Triumph 1970, introduction of the Range Rover 1971, Series III launched 1975, DL collapses and is nationalized. Publication of the Rider Report recommends that Land Rover be split from Rover and be treated as a separate company within EL and becomes part of the new commercial vehicle division called the Land Rover Leland Group 1976. 1 million Land Rover leaves the production line 1978, Land Rover Limited formed as a separate subsidiary of British Leland 22-1980, Rover car production ends at Solit Hall with the transfer of SD1 production to Cowley, Oxford, Solit Hall is now exclusively for Land Rover manufacture. 5-door Range Rover introduced 1983 Land Rover 1990-110-110-127 renamed Defender in 1990 introduced 1986. DLPLZ becomes Rover Group ELZ. Project Lama started 1986. Range Rover is introduced to the U.S. market in April 1986-1988. Rover Group is privatized and becomes part of British Aerospace, and is now known simply as Rover. 1989. Introduction of Discovery 1994, Rover Group is taken over by BMW. Introduction of Second Generation Range Rover The original Range Rover was continued under the name Range Rover Classic until 1995-1997. Land Rover introduces the special Ion Discovery XD with AA yellow paint, subdued wheels, SD type roof racks, and a few other off-road upgrades directly from the factory. Produced only for the North American market. The Special Vehicles Division of Land Rover created only 250 of these bright yellow SUVs. 1997, Introduction of Freelander 1998, Introduction of Second Generation of Discovery 2000, BMW breaks up the Rover Group and sells Land Rover to Ford for 1.8 billion 23 2002, Introduction of Third Generation Range Rover 2004, Introduction of Third Generation Discovery LR3 2005, Introduction of Range Rover Sport 2005, Adoption of Jaguar AJ V8 Engine to replace the BMW M62 V8 in a Range Rover 2005, Land Rover Founder Rover, Collapses under the ownership of Milligrams Rover Group 2006, Announcement of a new 2.4-liter diesel engine, 6-speed gearbox, dash and forward-facing rear seats for Defender. Introduction of Second Generation of Freelander Freelander 2 Ford acquires the Rover trademark from BMW, who previously licensed its use to Milligrams Rover Group May 8, 2007. For million Land Rover rolls off the production line, a Discovery 3LR3 donated to the Born Free Foundation June 12, 2007. Announcement from the Ford Motor Company that it plans to sell Land Rover and also Jaguar cars August 2007. India's Tata Motors and Mahindra and Mahindra as well as financial sponsors Cerberus Capital Management. TTG Capital and Apollo Global Management expressed their interest in purchasing Jaguar cars and Land Rover from the Ford Motor Company. 24 March 26, 2008, Ford agreed to sell their 
Jaguar Land Rover Operations to Tata Motors. 7 June 2, 2008. Tata Motors finalized their purchase of Jaguar and Land Rover from Ford. 9 2010. Introduction of fourth generation Discovery LR for 2011. The Range Rover Evoque introduced 2012. Fourth generation Range Rover was exhibited at the 2012 Paris Motor Manufacturing 80 inch series site in 1952 land. Rovers were manufactured primarily at the Sully Hall plant, near Birmingham, but production of the Freelander was moved to the Halewood body and assembly plant near Liverpool, the former Ford car plant. The Freelander is also assembled in Knockdown Kit CKB form at Land Rovers facility in Pune, India. 25 Defender models are assembled under license in several locations worldwide, including Spain Santana Motors Iran Paz and Motorat at Brazil Carman and Turkey Otokur. 26 The former DL Slash Rover Group Technical Center at Gaten in Warwickshire is home to the corporate and R&D headquarters. In May 2010, Tata Motors announced that it plans to build Land Rover and Jaguar models in China as the company seeks to cut costs and expand sales. 27 model the Land Rover Freelander the 1997 Defender 90 Land Rover Series IIB Forward Control Land Rover 109 Six Wheel Land Rover Defender Hong Kong Police Bomb Disposal Historic Series I, 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 A and I, 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 the original for four Range Rover Classic the original Range Rover Produced from 1970 to 1996 current 2011 UK Land Rover model line up model type Defender large off-road for four Freelander 2 sold in some markets as LR2 small off-road for four Discovery 4 sold in some markets as LR4 large off-road for four Range Rover Evoque small off-road for four Range Rover Sport large off-road for four Range Rover large off-road for four Concepts Range Stormer Land Rover's first concept vehicle unveiled at the 2000 for North American International Auto, later became the Range Rover Sport. Grips 2004 Land Rover LRX, Land Rover's second concept vehicle, first unveiled at the 2008 Detroit Auto. Originally the vehicle with ERAV technology, the production version did not include this. Later became the Range Rover Evoque, and what Land Rover's first vehicle with an option for front wheel drive. Land Rover DC 100. Land Rover's third concept vehicle, first unveiled at the 2011 Frankfurt Auto, designed to be a replacement for the Land Rover Defender, though it is unlikely that the Defender's replacement will be exactly the same as the DC-100 concept. Military model developed for the UK Ministry of Defence mod include, 101 forward control, also known as the Land Rover 1-ton FC 1-half-ton lightweight, air portable military short wheelbase from the series to a Land Rover Wolf an upratted military defender snatch Land Rover, Land Rover with composite armored body in UK Armed Forces Service 109 Series IIA and III Ambulance Body by Marshalls of Cambridge Range Rover 6x6 Fire Appliance Conversion by Carmichael and Sons of Worcester for RAF Airfield Use 130 Defender Ambulance Lama Prototypes for 101 Replacement Model developed for the Australian Army Land Rover Perenti for X4 and 6x6 Engines Main Article Land Rover engines During the history of the Land Rover many different engines have been fitted. The inlet over exhaust petrol engines a meal side valve in both four and six cylinder variants, which were used for the very first Land Rovers in 1948, and which had their origins in pre-war Rover cars. Cubic capacity of the first models was 1,600 cc. The four cylinder overhead valve engines, both petrol and diesel, which first appeared in diesel form in 1957, near the end of Series 1 production, and evolved over the years to the 300 TDI turbody cell, which remains in production today for some overseas markets. The Buick sourced all aluminium Rover V8 engine, 1997cc petrol, and left over exhaust, Series I engine, carried over for the first few months of Series II production, 2052cc diesel, overhead valve, Land Rover's first diesel engine, and one of the first small high-speed diesels produced in the UK that appeared in 1957, and was used in series II production until 1961. Looks almost identical to the later 2286cc engine, but many internal differences. It produced 51 Bishop 38 kilowatts, 2286cc petrol, overhead valve, three-bearing crank, 2,286 cc diesel, overhead valve, three bearing crank, 
appeared in 1961 alongside the redesigned 2286cc petrol engine at the start of Series I-8 production, and shared its cylinder block and some other components. It produced 60 to be shipped 46 kilowatts, 2625cc petrol, and left over exhaust, borrowed from the Rover Saloon range, in response to demands from mid 1960s Land Rover users for more power and to work. 2286cc petrol flash diesel, overhead valve type 11J, 5 bearing crank. In 1980, Land Rover finally did something about the crank failures which had plagued its four cylinder engines for 22 years. Citation needed these engines lasted beyond the end of series II production and into the first couple of years of the new 90 and 110 ranges. 3258cc V8 petrol. The ex Buick all alloy V8 engine appeared in the Range Rover right from the start of production in 1970, but did not make its way into the company's utility vehicles until 1979. 2495cc petrol, overhead valve, the final development of Land Rover's OHV petrol 4, with hardened valve seats which allowed running on unleaded or LPG. 2495cc diesel, overhead valve, type 12J. Land Rover reworked the old two and quarter diesel for the 1980s. The injection pump was driven off a tooth thick belt at the front of the engine together with the camshaft to change compared with the older diesels. 2495cc turbody cell, overhead valve, type 19J 2495cc turbody cell, overhead valve, 200 TDI and 300 TDI, used in the Defender and Discovery from 1990. The cylinder block was similar to the previous engine, although strengthened but the cylinder head was all new and a direct injection fuel system was used. 2495cc turbody cell, 5-cylinder, TD5, an all-new engine for the second-generation Discovery, and the Defender featuring electronic control of the fuel injection system with a control unit under the driver's seat drive by wire throttle and other refinements the original Relander model were available with various Rover K-Series engines. Electric vehicles This section requires expansion. March 2009 Integrated Electric Rear Axle Drive ER80 Technology Doug T. Terrain Technology 28 will allow the vehicle to move off without starting the engine as well as supplying extra power over tough terrain. 28 Land Rover S Diesel ER80 Hybrid was developed as part of a multi-million pound project supported by the UK Government S Energy Saving Trust, under the Low Carbon Research and Development Program. ER80 program is one of a broad range of sustainability-focused engineering programs that Land Rover is pursuing, brought together by the company under the collective name E-Terrain Technologies. 29 Land Rover presented at the 2008 London Motor its new ER80 diesel electric hybrid in a pair of Freelander 2 LR2 prototypes. The new hybrid system is being designed as a scalable and modular system that could be applied across a variety of Land Rover models and powertrains. 30 Land Rover unveil the LRX hybrid concept at the 2008 North American International Auto in Detroit, for it to be going into production. 31 and the R80 will enable the car to run on electric power at speeds below 20 miles per hour, 32 kilometers slash h. 32 in September 2011, the Range Rover Evoque was launched though it was based on the LRX hybrid concept presented at the 2008 North American Auto, it did not include the er system. Included one and the original concept abilities Land Rovers that add quick, under the power takeoff PBO was integral to the Land Rover concept from 1948, enabling farm machinery and many other items to be run with the vehicle stationary. Maurice Wilkes' original instruction was dot 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 to have power takeoffs everywhere. The 1949 report by the British National Institute of Agricultural Engineering and Scottish Machinery Testing Station described the power takeoff is driven through a hardy spicer propeller shaft from the main gearbox output and to interchangeable pinions giving to ratios. shows. The PPO gearbox casing is bolted to the rear chassis cross member and an 8 by 8 inches 200 mm 200 mm belt pulley driven from the PPO shaft through to bevel gears can be bolted to the PPO gearbox casing. PTOs remained regular options on Series I, II and III Land Rovers up to the demise of the Series Land Rover in 1985. An agricultural PTO on a Defender is possible as a special order. Land Rover the Series Flash Defender models is that they are available in a variety of body styles, from a simple canvas-topped pickup truck to a 12-seat fully trimmed station wagon.
Both Land Rover and out-of-house contractors have offered conversions and adaptations to the basic vehicle, such as fire engines, excavators, cherry-picker hydraulic platforms, ambulances, snow plus, and six-wheel drive versions, as well as one-off special builds including amphibious Land Rovers and vehicles fitted with tracks instead of wheels. Military Use British Land Rover near Pyongyang, November 1950 during the Korean War the mired Land Rover of the 1st Armored Division being extracted during the Gulf War X Australian Army Land Rover Series 2 gun buggy with an M40 recoilless rifle used in the anti-tank role at the Australian War Memorial. Defenders of the Bermuda Regiment, 1990 for Land Rovers on parade with the Italian Army, Navy and Air Force. June 2007 various Land Rover models have been used in a military capacity, most notably by the British Army and Australian Army. Modifications may include military blackout lights, heavy-duty suspension, uprighted brakes, 24-volt electrics, convoy lights, electronic suppression of the ignition system, blackout curtains and mounts for special equipment and small arms. Dedicated military models have been produced such as the 101 forward control and the air portable one half ton light weight. Military uses include light utility vehicle, communications platform, weapon platform for recoilless rifles, anti-tank e.g. tow or M40 recoilless rifle slash surface to air guided weapons or machine guns, ambulances and workshops. The discovery has also been used in small numbers, mostly as liaison vehicles. Two models that have been designed for military use from the ground up are the 101 forward control from the early 1970s and the lightweight or air portable from the late 1960s. The latter was intended to be transported under a helicopter. The Royal Air Force Mountain Rescue Service or AFMR's teams were early users in the late 1950s and early 1960s, and their convoys of Land Rovers and larger military trucks are a sight often seen in the mountain areas of the United Kingdom. Originally our AFMR's Land Rovers had blue bodies and bright yellow tops, to be better seen from above. In 1981, the color scheme was changed to green with yellow stripes. More recently, vehicles have been painted white, and are issued with fitting similar to civilian UK Mountain Rescue Teams. An adaptation of Land Rovers to military purposes is the Pink Panther model. Approximately 100 Series I-8 models were adapted to reconnaissance used by the British Special Operations Forces the SAS. For desert use they were often painted pink, hence the name. The vehicles were fitted with among other gear a sun compass, machine guns, larger fuel tanks and smoke dischargers. Similar adaptations were later made to Series IIIs and 90-110-Defenders.33 The Australian Army adapted the Land Rover Series 2 into the long-range patrol vehicle for use by the Special Air Service Regiment and as an anti-tank gun buggy fitted with an M40 recoilless rifle. The 75th Ranger Regiment of the United States Army also adapted 12 versions of the Land Rover that were officially designated the Ranger Special Operations Vehicle. Series and Defender models have also been armored. The most widespread of these is the Shorts Shoreland, built by Shorts Brothers of Belfast. The first of these were delivered in 1965 to the Royal Ulster Constabulary, the Northern Ireland Police Force. They were originally 109-inch 2,800mm wheelbase model with an armored body and a turret from the Ferret armored car. By 1990, there had been more than 1,000 produced.34 in the 1970s. The more conventional armored Land Rover was built for the Royal Ulster Constabulary in Wales called the Hotspur. The Land Rover Tangy was built by the Royal Ulster Constabulary's own vehicle engineering team during the 1990s. The British Army has used various armored Land Rovers, first in Northern Ireland but also in more recent campaigns. They first added protective panels to series general service vehicles the Vehicle Protection Kit VPK. Later they procured the Glutter Web APV and finally the Court Alts later MP Aerospace Composite Armored Vehicle, commonly known as Snatch. These were originally based on heavy-duty V8 110 chassis but some have recently been remounted on new chassis from Otoker of Turkey and fitted with diesel engines and air conditioning for Iraq. Although these now have more in common with the Wolf Defender XD Land Rovers that many mistakenly confuse them with, the Snatch and the Wolf are different vehicles. The most radical conversion of a Land Rover for military purposes was the Scent Toward Half-Track. It was based on a Series III with a V8 engine and a shortened belt drive from the Alvis Scorpion light tank. A small number was manufactured, and they were used by Gunny.
among others. The Land Rover is used by military forces throughout the world. The current generation of Land Rover used by the British Army, the Snatch 2, have upgraded and strengthened chassis and suspension compared to civilian specification vehicles. There is also the Land Rover W and IK weapon mounted installation kit used by the British Army. The W and IK consists of a driver, a raised gun, usually a Browning heavy machine gun or a grenade machine gun, this used for ground support, and a GPMG general purpose machine gunner located next to the driver, this used for vehicle protection. Competitive use highly modified Land Rovers have competed in the Dakar Rally and won the Macmillan 4X for UK Challenge almost every year, as well as having been the vehicle used for the Camel Trophy. Now, Land Rover has its own G4 Challenge.35 driver training Land Rover experience was established in 1998, and consists of a network of centers throughout the world, set up to help customers get the most out of their vehicles on and off-road capability. The flagship center is based in East Amber, Herefordshire in the UK, which has long been used as an engineering test and development facility. Courses offered include off-road driving, winching, and trailer handling, along with a variety of corporate and individual adventure days. Safety model by model road accident statistics from the UK Department for Transport that the Land Rover Defender is one of safest cars on British roads as measured by chance of death in two car injury accidents. 36 The figures, which were based on data collected by police forces following accidents between 2000 and 2004 in Great Britain, said that Defender drivers had a 1% chance of being killed or seriously injured and a 33% chance of sustaining any kind of injury. Other four-wheel drive vehicles scored equally highly, and collectively these vehicles were much safer for their passengers than those in other classes such as passenger cars and MPDs. These figures reflect the fact that drivers of large mass vehicles are likely to be safer, often at the expense of other drivers if they collide with smaller cars. Clubs There are many Land Rover clubs throughout the UK and internationally. Land Rover clubs break down into a number of groups of varying interests. Single mark clubs bring together owners of a specific model or series of vehicles such as the Land Rover Series 1 Club 37 or the Discovery Owners Club. 38 clubs based on ownership of earlier series vehicles tend to attract the purists amongst Land Rover owners whose interests often relate to restoration of their vehicles to their original condition. Citation needed special vehicle clubs. At various times Land Rover have produced vehicles for specific events or on a specific theme. Most notable are the Camel Trophy and G4 Challenge vehicles which have been sold on to the general public, and a range of defenders that were loosely based on the custom vehicles produced for the Tomb Raider motion picture. Regional clubs break down into two groups, competitive and non-competitive. The non-competitive clubs' activities generally relate to social events, off-road driving or green planning on unsurfaced public highways for pay and play days at off-road centers. Competitive clubs are a phenomenon almost exclusively found within the UK, who as well as the non-competitive activities detailed above run competitive events such as Tyro, Road Tax Vehicle RTV and Cross Country Vehicle CCV Trials, Winch and Recovery Challenges or Speed Events such as Competitive Safaris. All UK competitive events are run within the framework of rules created by the Motor Sports Association MSA with further vehicle-specific rules applied by the host club or association. The number of clubs are affiliated to the Association of Land Rover Clubs 39 ALRC formerly known as the Association of Rover Clubs Park the association applies its own vehicle regulations to all of its member clubs who have the opportunity to compete together at regional events and an annual national event with vehicles approved to the same standard. In 2005, under Ford ownership, Land Rover became more interested in the club environment. An internal club was formed. The Land Rover Club 40 exclusive to employees of Ford's premier automotive group now exclusive to the new Jaguar, Land Rover Group since the brand moved away from the Ford stable. Also, an agreement was generated to allow other clubs to use the Land Rover Green Oval logo under license. In 2006, the Bedfordshire, Hertfordshire and Cambridgeshire Club were the pilot licensees for the new agreement who now benefit from a reciprocal arrangement where their own logo is trademarked 41 and owned by Land Rover and they can refer to themselves as a Land Rover approved club. Brand Extension Bicycles In 1995 Land Rover endorsed the production of a handmade bicycle using its logo. 
The bicycle was called the Land Rover ATV and was manufactured by Pashley Cycles, of Stratford-upon-Avon, being the collapsible version of their multi-designed ATV all-purpose bicycle model with leading link front suspension with adjustable damping and stroke. It was available in golden yellow with green lettering or British racing green with yellow lettering color scheme. Two more model immediately followed the Land Rover XCB V20 and was aimed primarily at younger riders' children and the Land Rover XCB D26, also available as the M26 being one of the first bicycles offered with hydraulic rim brakes, front suspension and suspension seat pillar. In June 2004 Land Rover released a comprehensive 25 model range of bicycles to complement the automotive range. The three main ranges are the Defender the Discovery and the Freelander. Each range has its different attributes. The Discovery is an all-rounder bicycle and is suited to a mixture of different terrains. The Defender range is most suited to rugged terrain and off-road pursuits, whereas the Freelander is designed for an urban lifestyle. All bikes are made from lightweight aluminium. Push Chairs Land Rover gave UK Pram Company Pegasus a license to produce a three-wheeler range of Land Rover ADP Push Chairs. The design reflected the heritage of the mark with a light metal frame with canvas seating, held together with push studs and tough simple parts like brakes and hinges. They could be collapsed completely flat, with wheels removed in seconds. The basic frame could be adapted with modules to allow a baby to lie flat or a bubble windscreen to completely enclose the child. The frame also came in long or short handled versions, and could be repaired with home tools. The design was simple, light, and rugged and able to travel in all terrains hence the ADP for all terrain push chair. It came in three military looking colors, the light blue, the sand color and olive drab. Production was discontinued in 2002.42 Coffee Land Rover has had its name associated with coffee since 2005 when the Land Rover Coffee Company was established.43